Hey guys, we back with another great video, man. I got a Jeep content for you today. So, uh, been a long time since I had Jeep content. Actually, it's, uh, it's an old video from like two years ago, one year ago, something like that. TF TFL Classics, you know, shout out to TFL. They got pretty good uh, videos with Tommy and all them and his dad. It's a guy named, uh, I don't know the guy name, but um, he gonna explain to why the Jeep TJ is the best Jeep of all time. Question is, is it the best Jeep of all time? We gonna see. So let's get to the video, y'all. What I think is the best Jeep off-road vehicle that you could possibly buy, none other than the Wrangler let's TJ. Get it. Yeah. <laughs> must be his first Jeep. Rookie. So the Wrangler <laughs> TJ commercial. is the second generation of the Jeep oh, Wrangler. And when this thing came out Great in 1997, commercial. it actually replaced the YJ, which was the first generation Wrangler. And this was just kind of an evolution of that Wrangler. But I'm going to show you just why this is the most loved one and why this one specifically is the best value. So when the TJ came out, it came out with these round headlights. Loved which round Jeep headlights. Jeep fans were so elated because they all hated those square but, headlights that came they're not the bright YJ. really and this was a harken so you back gotta to always original update them. cj definitely Jeep. gotta update the and lights. the other interesting thing about this vehicle in specific too is that this was the last vehicle made with amc parts so in lifting the hood of the tj you could use that hood yeah prop, that's what i use or you could just lay it all the way back and it well i use the hood the prop roof, to push it all like the, the way back the windshield and that's really just an iconic jeep thing that all of these do but Damn, you can see under the clean. hood of this is the four liter inline six cylinder and this believe it or not was an amc engine and that is what makes this part so special these four liters are so iconic I have a and straight so sit, known so. for reliability and if you were to get one of these jeeps Always. this is the engine you want you could get them with some four cylinders i mean the 2.5 liter four cylinder is always okay. go straight the 2.4 liter came out in 2003 cylinder. and believe it or not you would have said that uh you had the same engine as a chrysler pt cruiser <laughs> but if you're getting one of these Jeeps, you Stay really want to stick the with this six. guy, the four liter inline six. You know, this was the first Jeep to have independent uh, shocks on all yes, four sir. corners because the model that this guy replaced actually leaf had leaf springs. springs and so now, did I know the that CJ. shit was so damn so stiff. This was really kind of the first Jeep that you could not only use off road, but you could use on road too as an actual vehicle i mean the way that i look at the earlier jeeps before this came out is my jeep was an 06 i like believe that was the last trucks. year they made they're, the tj <laughs> you know they're really compromised hard to drive on you know like as a daily driver kind of vehicles they, they're plenty capable off-road and plenty fun don't get me wrong but if you want a jeep that you can take off-road and something that you can daily drive this is the one yes, sir. To get, especially because right now values are pretty darn reasonable you can find these all best day of both worlds for man less than ten thousand of both worlds yeah you're gonna find some nicer examples that are gonna fetch a bit more money but this it's really hard to beat i mean these drive pretty decent on road you know a little better than you would think a jeep would it's sure you know it's no uh you know suv or anything it like is that a little as far tight as, you know though. if you want to compare it to like a jeep liberty you're on it's the heavier side is that but it does you are drive not pretty gonna good. fit in there that that, that great you could live with on a daily basis it's like and a little tin can four liter it's not a speed machine but it's got plenty of pep to get you up to speed feel yeah, safe with definitely traffic. for cruising and yeah i think it's just it's just a really good driving Jeep, honestly. It, it feels modern. It doesn't necessarily feel like an old farm truck like some of the old ones mm -hmm. do. And it's it's just a good exactly. vehicle to live with. Mm. 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 Nice now jazz these mirrors beat. are not the original mirrors. However, if you do have the original mirrors on these, believe it or not, and you go out and buy a brand new JL Jeep Wrangler, they come with the same mirrors, assuming you get the half door JL Wrangler. They have the exact same mirrors that came from the factory on the 1997 Jeep really? Wrangler. All right, Never so knew that. On the interior, 
of this Jeep, you can see that it is about That's as what basic I like about and bare it, bones as it gets. You get some a basic radio the, with a the, lot the of big and the chunky TJs. buttons, I and then that continues the, uh, down to your HVAC yeah, controls, the where you just have these I like, big, I like the way simple, looks. chunky I think they knobs go back that to couldn't the way have been any just simpler more or easier to use. And then this one has the coveted five-speed manual transmission, and trust me, this is the transmission you want because if you got a pre-2003 Jeep Wrangler, they had a three-speed automatic transmission. Now, if you go with a later one, those got upgraded to the four-speed automatic transmission, but you really just want the five-speed manual in these guys to really get all the potential out of these. But the other things that I like too is just this super basic steering wheel. You've got analog gauges, and then you've got just some decently comfortable seats. Mm. Now, one of the few downsides to having such a small about vehicle seats. is storage space. These really don't have a Those lot of it. Stiff. If you open up the back, you will see <laughs> if you're using that second seat, row though. seat, you're very, very limited in your cargo capacity. Now, what a lot of people will do is they'll just not have anybody use that back seat and they'll fold it out of the way because then you actually get or just take it out like everybody else. Typical SUVs it will save a whole of lot of back time here. And, room and that's and just space kind of what you want. So if it's just, you know, you and your girlfriend, you and your wife, you and a friend out off-roading, just the two of you the the enjoying way. it, this is the perfect size vehicle. I think our seat needs a little bit of love here, Brendan. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it kind of fell off there a little bit, but it goes right back in place. So yeah, maybe this isn't a Rubicon or even a Sahara. It doesn't have the lockers or anything like that, but you can still take your doors off. You can still take the roof off. You can still fold the windshield flat, just like any Jeep. And these have a huge aftermarket community. Yes, They've sir. got great support and tons you of parts find that parts are readily available anywhere, and cheap. Anytime. And then these things will do fantastic off-road. And I know I'm wearing a, a really Toyota hat I think on a it's Jeep just, video. It's like the best Jeep <laughs> that you really can but, get for hey, the money. I like Alex Yodas too. $7,000 for I this used guy. To own a Tacoma. So if you want to go out and get one of the fancier ones, one of the nicer ones, yeah, sure, you can get a really nice Jeep for more money, but if you just want to get a good off-roader, get one that's got some pain issues, get one that's got a few dents and dings on it, some that's got high mileage because these will last and they will be a great off-roader and a fun vehicle for you to have for a long time. Well, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. This has been Brendan, Alex behind the camera. Take care, guys. W video, W video, W video, y'all. Shout out TFL. Uh, my thing, I feel like this is the best uh, Jeep that's out there is a TJ. So, you know, I keep seeing prices going up for them. So people are buying them. They, uh, uh, I use mine for a daily driver. My opinion, it is the best Jeep ever made, but that's not to say that the newer ones are not that great, but they're great. But I feel like that was the peak of the Jeep, which when they made the Jeep TJ. So that's my opinion. Uh, y'all can agree or disagree, but I'll see y'all on next, man. Peace. <laughs>